Yo, still Mills, what's the Dizzle, man? Yo, peep game, man. Um, I don't know how I forgot to even do this, man, but I forgot to acknowledge my Cubano guy, man, Lada. I forgot to mention my man Lada and his victory on, um, what was that, last week at 160. Uh, he should have been moved up to 160, honestly, man. He, he should have been did that. He should have been moved up. Like, I would hate to see him just now moving up and not being able to be successful at 160 because he took too long to get up there. Nonetheless, he's up there now, man. Um, so, salute to him for moving up, man. And even at a lower level, a first round knockout at a higher division when you ain't even known as a prolific puncher like that is pretty that, that speaks volumes man um now granted dude's name i don't know who the fuck this motherfucker was i never heard of him you know me and my coach was just going at it at the gym the past few days and, oh man who the fuck is cornflake cornflake corn like man who the fuck is this last motherfucker that golovkin for fuck out of here but <laughs> cornflake that's that man name I, i've never heard of this dude today before in my life he's a professional nonetheless so you know salute to him but i had never heard of him man so um it's hard to really judge that that fight but i am glad he's in the division and i am glad that a first round knockout bro on a left on a left hand you, you know, your introduction into the division is that ain't really nothing to sneeze at, man. And I mean, just the thing is with Laura, it won't be his power that holds him over in a in a in a in, a, in the higher divisions. It won't be his power; it'll be his skill set. I would dare say, had he had he uh, had he moved up a little bit sooner, he could have fucked around him fought at 168 because he has the skill set to he has a really 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 solid fundamentals a solid fundamental base in boxing he could have he could have fought at 168 i dare say that just on skill alone you know not how he fought heard I don't think he could ever fight like he fought Jared Hurd again. I don't think he could ever fight like that. None of them cats up there because unless he is just at peak condition because he was fucking hurt up. Like he was completely outclassing Hurd. I thought he won that fight personally. I, I thought he won that fight. He did enough to win that fight. He stole a lot of early rounds. He pretty much dominated the first half of the fight and stole some of the second uh, the, the rounds in the second half of the fight. So I personally thought he won the fight and should have been rewarded or at least a draw. But that knockdown is what, you know, that I can understand why they get that fight to Jared Hurd. But he can't ever fight like that again. I mean, it may be some middleweights he can he could get away with that with. Jared Hurd is going Jared Hurd is officially moving up to middleweight now cuz he was just too big for that division, man. Like he was going to outgrow it sooner or later. So now he's officially at middleweight. He can't afford to fight. Like it, it have to be a mid, like who would he who would he even be able to fight like that at middleweight? Andrade, Andre, uh, it, it, it can't be an imposing middleweight with Laura. Just I don't know, man. Just or it could be. It, it could be, man. It, it, it could be. And I think he can be, he could, him and Jared Hurd would be another good fight. I just think with Jared Hurd, he just, I think he was a little bit more arrogant with Jared Hurd and a lot more flat-footed. He wanted to stay there and trade with Jared Hurd. I don't know if he gassed down the stretch or what, but it was just like, yo, bro. <laughs> yo, bro. So I think, he, I think moving up is something that he should have done. I think he was looking forward to fighting Jermail, you know, Jermail Charlo at 154 and, you know, a few other cats. And it was a lot. I mean, Lubin is down there still. Him and Tony Harrison could have got in there and ran that. J-Rock. It was still, it's still some hitters at 154 that he never fought that are on that side of the street. And I just don't know why they never got into that. But, you know, nonetheless, he moved up. 
he fought all there is to fight at 154 pounds. He has a a stellar resume at 154. Two losses, three losses. I'll take that back. Three losses. That first loss was a bullshit loss with uh, Paul Williams. The Canelo loss was. You can make an argument that he won. I thought he won personally, but I understand why Canelo won that fight. I, I do. And the third fight with Jared Hurd, I think he, I think he did enough in the early rounds to secure that win. I did, but I, once again, I understand why Jared Hurd won the fight. So I think it, you know, it was it was long overdue for him to move up. I just hate to see him move up so late in the game. I hate to see him move up so late in the game. I mean, now, Lord, he doesn't get hit often. He hasn't had too many wars. You know, he's pretty, you know, he's a pretty well-reserved fighter or preserved fighter. He hasn't been through the wire like that. He doesn't have too many wars uh, outside of the herd fight. That herd fight was, oh, hold on, him and Angulo. That was a pretty, that was a war. Him and Angulo was a war. He, 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 got, he got dropped a few times by Angulo. Oof. Yeah, he had, he's been in a few wars, man. So I, I'm just sitting here like, yo, man, why why would you wait so long to move up, man? Why would you wait so long to move up? You should have been moved up. You should have been at 160 because 160 is so stacked. 160 is so stacked, man. Murata, Charlo, Golovkin, Andrade, Toriano, Jaime Munguia, Spike O'Sullivan, uh, Lemieux, it's a stacked division, man. Um, you should, I don't think you should have took that long to move up. Nonetheless, you up there, and I'm rooting for you. I'm, ro I'm most definitely rooting for you, man. Um, I love to see the brother get busy, man. I think um, his style is dope. It's boring by a lot, you know, if, uh, even by boxer standards, you know, people who are, you know, kind of sewers of the sport, they don't necessarily like to see him. But I'll never forget when he fought uh, Terrell Gachet. And they were, the crowd was counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just so they could like, yo, like, hurry up with this shit. This shit boring. So he doesn't have a fan, friend, a, a, a fan friendly style of fighting unless you bring the fight to him. If he's dominating you, then all right, cool. I'm on cruise control. That's what I, I've always loved, you know, he's. He has the discipline to be like, I'm not, I'm not about to put myself at risk. You know, it's a respect for the, for the, you know, for pugilism. I, you're in the, you're in the ring with me because you're skilled at your craft and your, your top, your, your top dog in the division, at least top 20. So I'm going to, I, I'm not gonna allow you. I'm not, I'm not gonna allow you to not get lucky. You know, I don't like saying they got lucky. But I'm not gonna allow you to capitalize on an opportunity that would knock me off my square. So if I'm on cruise control, I'm a, I, you got, you're gonna have to force me to fight. It is what it is, and he, you know, he, he I, I respect that about him. I respect that about him, man. He's like, you can't, you can't force me to do something I don't wanna do. You have to bring that fight to him. Jay Hurd brought the fight to him. Canelo didn't even bring the fight to him like that. He thought he, would, he, thought, he thought he had that in the bag. I think what Jay Hurd, Jay Hurd, Spawned something out of him, like, like, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know, man. I just saw he was like in his interviews. He was, he just kept saying, "I'm, a, I'm going to beat this dude, like, badly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck this nigga up." That was his mentality. I'm gonna fuck this nigga up, and it just didn't bode in his favor, man. But nonetheless, it was a damn good fight. That was a real good fight. I do think Laura won. I, I, I thought Laura did enough to win the fight in the earlier rounds. Nonetheless, he. It's the third, this third loss under his belt, whatever it is, what it is. Fighters lose all the time. There's no shame in losing. There's no shame in losing if you can learn from the loss. So, welcome to 160 pounds. I'm rooting for you. I can't wait to see what you do, how you do up there, who you fight up there in the near future. You got stable mates on that side of the street. Well, you can't fight your mall Charlo because y'all got the same trainer. But, I mean, who else is over there on the 60 side. I, I don't know. On the PBC side, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I'm sure Al Hammer wouldn't have no problem that you go and fight on the zone or a top rank or something like that. He's like, all right, because you, you know you're not a you're not a breadwinner like that over there with them. 
so they don't they wouldn't feel like they losing out on anything so all right yeah i'll let you go ahead and have that so welcome to 160 my nigga i hope you do i hope you have i hope you finish your career at 160 and i hope you don't go past the, you know past you being past it if you can see you passed it and you just like nah man this way is too strenuous it's, I just, nah, I'm a retire. No one to retire. Don't be like, I just got into this division now. I can't retire. Now, don't do that. Don't do that. Just, you know, you know what to do, man. You know what to do. So, good luck to you up there at 160 pounds. Fuck what my coach is talking about. Fuck what he talking about. Good luck in getting there and run that shit because he's been calling you out for years. Y'all both had an advanced age. Neither one of y'all seem to be slowed down. Why not get that shit in? Peace.